Hello everyone. Um, welcome to the Beehive Collective. Uh, we have got a healing testimony to share with you today. Um, my mom is actually here with me. Her name is Julie. Um, and she had just something amazing happen to her earlier this week. And I just pray that it would encourage you and reignite your faith that God is healer. Um, and that we can hold him to his word, that we can stand on his scripture, um, and that he still does miracles even today. Um, so stay tuned here. Um, my mom's going to tell her testimony, and then, um, yeah. Hi, everybody. Once again, my name is Julie. Uh, my beautiful daughter, Mercedes, asked me to um, share this testimony with you. And I feel like I just wanted to sh shout this on top of a mountain and, and let everybody know what happened to me because it was absolutely just miraculous. Um, I've been dealing with severe migraines that totally debilitate me where I can't take any sound, I can't take any light. Um, in most cases, I am able to lay down and sleep off my migraine. However, this last week on Wednesday, um, Wednesday evening, I started to get a headache and I took a couple ibuprofen, went to bed, thinking I'll sleep it off, it'll be fine. I go to bed and my head, I could feel the pulse in my head. I could, it was just like, bam, bam, bam. And it lasted the whole night. I ended up getting up and taking my prescription pain medication, which usually works, didn't even put a dent in it. And I was literally pacing the floors up and down all night long. Thursday, I was supposed to spend the day with um, my mom and my daughter and my nephew at the pool. I sent them a text and said, I'm not gonna be able to make it. I've been up all night long with a migraine. Um, I called my daughter and I asked her to pray with me and she prayed with me and she said, Mama, I just want you to hold on to a word. And my son gave me this little book, it's called God's Promises. Um, for anybody out there who's going through something, this little book is fantastic. So no matter what you're going through, you can open it up and look for whatever it is you're going through, whether it's stress, whether it's pain, um, sadness, worry. Um, you can open this book and it will give you scripture that goes along with whatever you're dealing with. Um, I opened it up for sickness, and I didn't even read the whole thing. I just opened it up, and this scripture just jumped out at me. And it was, O oh Lord, heal me. O oh Lord, save me, and I will be, or O oh Lord, heal me, and I will be healed. O oh Lord, save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. So I went back to bed, still pounding headache, laying there, and I just kept holding on to that scripture and repeating it over and over in my head. And it wasn't audible, but the, the words, pick up your mat and be healed kept going through my head. And I'm like, okay, God, pick up my mat. So I'm thinking, okay, pick up my mat. I'll get out of bed. So I got out of bed. I started to walk down the stairs and it was an odd sensation. The tops of my ears started to tingle. 
and then the top of my head just felt light, light as a feather, and my headache was gone. Now, not only was my headache gone, but normally when I have a migraine headache afterwards, I feel like I have a hangover or like my eyes are bruised. None of it. I had no headache. I had no after effects. And I am praising God. I haven't had a migraine since then. So um, for anybody out there who is going through anything, um, I encourage you to pick up your sword, which is the word of God, slay the enemy down because he has no chance. And God will heal you. God will take away whatever in your life that you're dealing with. Just pick up your sword and slay that enemy down. Thanks for listening to me today. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so just, yeah, thank you, Mom, for coming on here and being bold and courageous. And um, she's never done anything, done anything like this before. Um, but I just was so encouraged by that. And I wanted to share her testimony with you because I want you to know that God is still healer, that he still performs miracles, and that all things are possible with God. So I feel like, I really truly believe this, um, that God has this room full of it is finished blessings, it is finished miracles, healings, um, things that he's already accomplished for us, that, that he bore for us on the cross. Um, and it's just up to us to take a hold of it, to grab onto it, and then to not speak doubly about the situation. So um, I was really convicted. It was like the day before this, this happened to her with the, um, this past week where um, I just felt like God was convicting me with having double speech, you know, saying things like, well, I believe God is healer, but, and then fill in the blank. And our speech is powerful, and in, in, um, in our tongue is the power of life and death. And so I just encourage you to, whatever scripture you hold on to um, for your healing and for your breakthrough, that you don't speak contrary to that, that you hold on to it, that you, you, know, you pick up your sword, and that's, you know, which is the word of God, and then that's your weapon of choice during, during that time. You're not speaking... Um, for and against your healing in the same breath. You're actually just standing on the word of God and believing that you have received. And then God, like, God honors that. So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in today. And God bless you all. Bye, guys. I'm excited to hear the testimony. So any of you watching this video, I want you um, to share your testimonies because I, I feel like like from this, from this experience, this healing, um, us sharing our, or us sharing her testimony, um, we're going to hear like your guys' faith is going to be reignited. And then there's going to be testimonies flowing out of your lives. And I really want you, um, to, to share them because I, I would love to share them on Beehive Collective. All right. Have a good day.